What a surprise today in Times Square for a woman and her kindergarten teacher from more than 20 years ago. The two were reunited as a special classroom art project was on display. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian has the story. My teacher by Newark kindergartner Yahaira Lopez in 2001 honors a special person during a difficult time for the then five-year-old who had just arrived to the U.S. from Ecuador. I said to her, it's going to get easier, don't worry. She realized that I was able to speak her native language. And the rest is history. Wilson Avenue Elementary's Esperanza Fontaine is the teacher in the portrait. If there was something the now newlywed optrician Yahira Durant could say to the teacher she hadn't seen in over 20 years. Even if just for you it's your day job, you never realize the impact you have on a kid. She definitely helped shape, shape my life. And little did she know. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, this is so true. Crayola kept the original project, and after a long search, it was returned. And if that wasn't big enough, all this possible by Crayola's campaign for creativity that's reuniting now adults with the artwork they created as kids, submitted as part of its Dream Maker program that started 40 years ago. Many of these artists already have kids of their own. And so I think the timing for it was perfect. My teacher and several other pieces are now on display at Crayola's Stay Creative exhibit in Chelsea. Crayola is still looking to reunite several more artists with their work, and the exhibit is hoped to help with that. You'll see a little red crayon next to those specific pieces. And the exhibit runs in Chelsea's Detour Gallery through Saturday. In Chelsea, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News. The ultimate full circle moment right there. Love it. With at least 9,000 art projects, Crayola's collection is considered one of the largest collections of children's artwork in the entire world.